Hello everyone, this is Bishop Michael Haar of the Catholic Ecumenical Order of Christ. Today I want to talk to you about enduring and what that truly means. Well, it's the same as endurance. How far and how long can you go before you're done? You're kaput. You can't go anymore. You need a rest or you just don't want to go anymore. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. You know, Satan, he doesn't believe we deserve anything but death and destruction and to be phased out of human existence. He doesn't believe we deserve God's love. He doesn't believe we deserve eternal life. So God allows him to test us. Why are we tested? Because you don't want a murderer or a liar or a thief living with you for eternity. He wants only the worthy to inherit the kingdom. And that's God's plan. So he allows Satan to test us because by doing so, he turns a lump of coal into a shining diamond. I want to share with you one of my favorite stories. It's the, to it's the story of the tortoise and the hare. The hare is the one, he's in a hurry. He runs and runs and runs. He gets so far ahead of the tortoise that he gets complacent. He feels accomplished. He doesn't have to worry as much. So he takes a nap. Well, what happens? The tortoise passes him. He gets to the finish line first. Why? Well, the tortoise is obviously my favorite character in this whole thing. And I'm sure you know why, but I'm going to elaborate anyways. The tortoise has a couple things going for him. Number one. He takes his time. He's watching where he's going. He sees the stumbling block in front of him, that log, that snake crossing the road. And he can see exactly where he's going so he can avoid it. Number two, he has a shell. You can call this his faith or his armor of God. And should something come at him swiftly, he can fall back on that armor, his faith, to protect him. And because he's very slow and he keeps going, he's not too much in a hurry to get to the finish line. As long as he gets there safely, that's all that he cares about. And that's what enduring is. To keep going. Keep striving forward. Don't give up. Nobody is tested as much as the saints are in the service of the Lord. We go through all manner of tests every single day. It can be anything from somebody's attitude to not getting something done on time. You know, somebody slams the door, too much noise, not enough sleep. It could be any number of things. It could be happening to you too. You get that ticket and you're mad. Or, you know, you're asked to share something and you just can't do it anymore. You're tired. You want to give up. The end isn't coming quick enough. You know, every day I am tested. I am tested on a very different number of levels. could be my patience. It could be how I react to somebody, how I treat another person, my attitude. Do I get angry? Do I finish my work on time? It doesn't always have to pertain to the Lord's work. Your tests can be anything. It can be your attitude. It could be, did you tell somebody to do something that you're not willing to do? Do you react negatively when you're under pressure or stress? Any number of things can be a test. And Satan is far superior in his wisdom than us. He steps ahead of us, always. Never, ever, ever, ever underestimate 
the power of your adversary. Because he's always a step ahead of you. He knows exactly how to push your buttons. You know, it could be something so small that causes you to fall. That you are kicking yourself later on. That you allowed this simple thing. This chink in your armor. To allow you to fall. Enduring is not easy. You need to learn to let things go. To have patience. One of the key things is patience. And patience and endurance go hand in hand. And I just did a sermon on this last week. We must have patience. When things aren't going our way, or we're tested too much, you need to have patience. Don't react too quickly. Don't get angry too quickly and lose your salvation because you were too hasty like the hare. Be slow. Be slow like the tortoise. Watch where you're going. Don't be in a rush. Eternity is a very long time. You have nothing to worry about et for eternity once you get there. But it's getting there that matters. And you're only going to get there if you be like the tortoise. If you take your time. You watch where you're going. You see the stumbling blocks in front of you and you're prepared for when something comes at you swiftly. You have that armor. You have that faith that is strong enough to help protect you when the time comes. I want you I want you all in the new kingdom. I want to see each and every one of you there. I don't want to see anybody fall. So I pray, I pray in the name of Lord Rael that this gets to you. This reaches deep into your heart. You understand that don't be in a hurry. Eternity is forever. It's hard to even contemplate what eternity is. This life is so fragile. It's so short. You are about to enter a time when a thousand years is going to be like one day. You're going to look back and be like, man... It was just the other day I was doing that. And it was a thousand years ago. I want you to be that person. I want you to be there in the new kingdom. And it is our duty as clergy to guide you into the new kingdom. The best that we can. So I hope you listen. I hope this reaches into your heart. God bless you. In Lord Rael's name, amen.